Hello YouTube, this is iRiseOn, and today I'll be showing you how to add mods to your game, or basically update mods. We're going to do this slow because you got to do it right. Now the first thing you want to do is go to your C, if this is for Windows, C users app data roaming dot minecraft. Then you want to go into bin folder, delete version. This will update your Minecraft to the newest version. Uh, now since I've already installed mods, I'm going to do it the absolutely completely paranoid safe way and delete almost everything. Also to show you that this is not going past the Minecraft's uh, loader itself. So it'll still work. This is so I can have a modded version of Minecraft to play single player and a normal version that I use with a different shortcut to play normal and also an old alpha version. Alright, so I'm going to start up Minecraft. Redown, load everything fresh. I'm going to... Oh, my worlds aren't in here. That's good. Exit out. Now, what I'm going to do... is I'm going to bring my saves and stuff back over from where I saved them. Alright, so everything's back where it should go. I just moved them out to another folder and came back. Just to show you just to show you that it works all fine. Oh, can I load this world without showing anything? It's one of the contest worlds. But it loads nice and quick. Alright, so here we go. I'm back, my old version is here. All pristine, nothing changed. Now, what I want to do is go to the Minecraft forums, the best spot on the Minecraft forums, which is the mapping and modding section. And you want to go to the post that's stickied right at the top, one stop mod shop. Show you pretty much all you need to know. And what I'm going to be using is the HD texture fix, which uses a patcher. And then I'm mainly going to be installing Mo Creatures. Humans Plus updated, and because Mo Creatures requires it from Rigus Visugami's mods, excuse me for butchering your name, but I'm going to be using Mod Loader and Audio Mod because this is very important. You must read if your modder is a good person, they will give you extensive documentation or at least explicit documentation, and this you want to follow like the word of God. So, first thing I'm going to do. Download the HD texture fix. Make sure open Minecraft, blah blah blah. Alright, I've read it. No, that's a bad example. I really have read it. Uh here he's uh Dr. Zark is uh pushing TFC's mod manager because it's an easy way, it, it gets people um it's it's just an easier way to have people install mods. But we're gonna be doing it manually. It's good to know that way. So you need audio mod and mod loader explicitly. And that's right here. Those This is where the links will take you. Mod loader at the top, audio mod somewhere in the middle here. There you go. Good thing about audio mod too is that you can add new sounds and music to the game by yourself. This paragraph will tell you how. And here's the new version of Humans Plus 1.3 plus Notch Mobs which adds the old mods back in and makes sure they fight against those bad guys. Right, so here we go. I've got all this stuff. Now, the very first thing I'm going to do is use the patcher. Why? Because the other stuff's modded and I don't want to screw around with it too much. So, here we go. Now you, dear viewer, will not need to change this if you just have your normal Minecraft. But if you're using this batch data 
way, then you will need to change your destination. Here I've got my, this is where I put my saved modded version of Minecraft. And it's looking for Minecraft.jar. That's in the bin right here. It's also, the output is also Minecraft.jar. Yes, we want to replace it. I'm using 16 by 16 and I'm adding the texture pack. that has my custom water file already in it from Painterly. does not have custom lava though. I'm going to patch it. Success, probably. That's good to know. I'm not going to test because I'm a fool. <laughs> no, I, I trust Zao's MC patch. I've used it in the past. Now that's done. So now the, the automatic work is done for us. We have to do the manual work. And these folders and mod loader and audio mod both inject right into the jar. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take all this stuff and just dump it right in there. Actually, I'll show you a little bit easier. Well, I'll show the more explicit way. These all go into the jar file. So let me open that up bin minecraft.jar open archive now there is no meta dash inf folder because Zao's MC patcher already deleted it for me normally there would be a meta dash in inf folder that you would have to get rid of just delete it but here that that works already done for us so I've combined mod loader and audio mod and I'm just going to drag them in here just like that. Then in audio mod I see there's a pulse code sound codex. So I'm going to drag that to let's see here pulse sound sound codex. You can drag it all in manually but I'd rather just show you this way so you know that file structure matters as well as you be careful where you place everything. Now there is no folder called IBXM. This is the codec to play it all. I'm going to copy that right in. Good. So audio mod and mod loader are done. Let's delete those. Now I've got Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures mod. I'm going to extract that here. Uh, ideally, I'd read them read me, but he has files to inject into Minecraft.mod. I'm gonna do so. Actually, I'm gonna click all of them, and I'm gonna do this whole shenanigan all over again, right into the jar. Copy. Mo creatures, right into the jar. Yes. Looks like we have mobs. These are all of the Control A to select them all. Drag them in. These are all of the textures for the new creatures. He has this folder to add to resources. Resources mod sound. Okay. Interesting. It's not in the jar. It's in here. It's in the dot minecraft folder. Resources. There is no mod folder. So I'm going to add it just like so. <laughs> and I press burn. Great. Thank you, CD. That's how not to do it, folks. Be careful. Go slow. All right. And next we have Mo Creatures Properties. Copy. This is neither in the resources nor injected into the jar file. This goes right into the root of .minecraft itself. Now that we've done that, it's actually a breeze to install Humans Plus and also this Notch Plus, Notch Mods Plus, because it follows the exact same format. Both of these mod authors are kind enough to provide the same file structure and explicitly tell you where these need to go. 
So here we go. This goes right in the root, this properties file. Files to inject to Minecraft.jar. Actually, let's go to the mobs first since I'm already stuck on the mobs folder. There you go. Copy. Come back. Control A, select all. Control, control, unselect those. And the root of the Minecraft jar. I'm just copying these in. Humans plus. That folder does not exist. Copy it in. Back. Files to add to resources. Mod. Dot Minecraft. Resources. See, we have our mod. We have sound. Human. See, now normally you can just merge with no problem, but like I said, I'm taking it extremely slow. So just so you know how important this really is to follow it to the T. You know, cross your T's, dot your I's, that kind of thing. Right. I'm pretty sure I injected the humans plus properties, but I just want to make sure. Yes, I did. All right, go back. That's installed. Get rid of that so I'm not distracted. Notch mobs plus. Not notch mob plus properties. And there you go. These are going to go right into the jar. And now we should be all set. Right? Yep, no resources in here. So let's check the README first because I have not played with this mod yet. So he also requires mod loader. Good, we have that in. Delete meta int. Good. Now you can also mess with these properties folders, files, while after they're in the. Uh, well, whatever, it doesn't matter when. You can do anything to these. Any sort of alteration to any of these words will cause these guys not to load. Any of those things I just did will take these out and the original mods, mobs, uh, will stay. Mods and mobs, it's just, the words are so close together. And I am so rambly. But I told you no. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. So that's that. If you want to play with the properties, more than welcome to. I've done all that I wanted to do right now. So now I'm ready to just play my game. It's also, I think, fairly important to install MC Patcher first because it's a patcher program. You never know what it looks for. Uh, so you really want to let the automated crap do its stuff first before you start manually altering its stuff. Uh, that's, that's not ironclad, but it's a safe bet. So here we go, back to Minecraft modded. Instantly my texture pack is there. Oh god, this thing. Ugh, this guy. Options, normal, good. Oh yeah, my, I delete my options text. And look at that. We've got guys running around. Hello, gentlemen. I think their spawn rates have changed a bit, so that's pretty good. That's one of my big reasons for updating this mod. And I hope you found this tutorial useful. So now go out and be merry with mods. Just be careful, not all of them are compatible with each other. But then again, a lot of the mod authors have worked together with each other. Uh, 303 is a good example. His pirates are in here, and he also has mods of his own. Uh, Rigus Risugami, who had the mod loader and audio mod, he has his own mods. There's plenty of other people, sort of uh, unsung mods out there too. Weirdos and Creepers, uh, this 303's Hookshot, I mean there's all sorts of stuff out there. If you really want to go out, you can find almost anything tailored to your desire. Uh, people are making new ones every day. So, have fun, just remember to keep everything backed up, and I would highly recommend that you keep your Minecraft folders separate. Like I said, um, <clears throat> as far as saves go, 
you can always rename a save file and copy it back and forth. Rename it World 2 to World 3 and load Minecraft. It does not care. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been iRise On's very slow, methodical how to install mods tutorial. Be safe and have fun. Bye.